Hi ho stampers, welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Velder. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. And today we're gonna do another in our series of the pop-up easel set. And it is a shaker card. How could I do uh, a series without doing at least one shaker card? It's so easy. Uh, make sure you go back and look at all the videos on the um, easel series that I have because it just gives you so much information. Let me show you some of the ones that we've done. So this is the very first one. It shows you how to put your easel together. Um, it's just the basics. So make sure you check this one out and it just used the background. On this one, I did a little bit of layering. It was absolutely gorgeous when it all came out, but um, it's just a beautiful card. So make sure you check that one out. And then we had this little guy right here, which used a bunch of different layers with the different ovals that we had. Make sure you check that one out. We revamped it and gonna be using a little bit of the same technique today for our shaker card, but make sure you check this one out. And this one, we used our distressed dock siding. So just keep and keep following me because I'll have more and more and more and more. But this one right here today, we're gonna to do a quick shaker card. Let me just grab the pieces that we're gonna use. We're gonna use the Adriana pop-up easel set and we're gonna use the oval frame die. These are essential in all of these, so make sure you get them. And I also have a whole series on the oval frame you make sure you go and look at them. They are amazing cards. All right, so I cut everything out ahead of time because you know how to do that. And if not, go look at some of my other um, videos on this um, on this uh, easel die because it does show you the, the fantastic tips on how to cut this out and how to maximize your paper. So let's start with the base card. We're going to start with the... Um, we have our mint julep right here. I'm going to take the base card and I'm going to take um, one of the um, backgrounds. So I have my paper facing me. It is the right side up. I'm going to start on the first fold using my crease tool. And then I'm just going to take this crease right here and crease it back. So the first one goes forward and the second one goes back. That's all there is to it. I'm going to take my tear tape and you can use either your um, thin 1 8 inch tape or the quarter inch tape. We have both of these in the shop and I love them both for different reasons. And uh, we're just going to take and put a piece of that close to the, um, the fold right here. All right. That's all there is to it so far. Super easy. Um, if you have yours, work right along with me. Stop your camera right now. Work along with me and um, we'll get this done together. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom piece. Whoops, before I do this, I always do this. I need to put my inside piece in there. And what I mean by that is this piece right here, this layer piece, it's much easier. You can do it the other way, um, but it's much easier to put this piece in first. So this is the way it's gonna go. Okay, this is my pistachio and my mint julep. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to use some of my tape runner to lay it down. All right, make sure you have it going the right way because everything lines up. I know if you've seen my other videos, you're, you're probably tired of hearing that. But if this is if you're working backwards, it's really important to line everything up. All right, so there's the inside. Now I have my um, my tear tape right up here. I'm going to take this, make sure it's going the right way, and. I'm going to start here at the bottom and I'm going to completely cover up that pistachio paper. I'm going to lay it down, down, down so everything lines up and voila, our whole thing is all put together. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the shaker part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, I pre-cut um, this little guy right here. But remember, when you cut one of these out, this is not cut out. So what I did was I took the um, oval die right here and I took the inside um, circle and I just cut it out just like that, okay? So that's how I did that. I used my um, tear tape and what I do is I save this tape. So what I'm gonna do now is to just take this off of here like this and put it back onto here so that I can use it for another card. I love to maximize. All right, so those are just on there. I can use them for my next card and I keep using them until um, it doesn't get stick anymore. I'll save this in my little bag of tricks, which is 
right here. So I always save all of these for future cards, okay? I always cut out extras when I'm doing all of this so that I'm working smarter, not harder. And um, let's get going. So the next thing that I did was I took a piece of our acetate sheet. And again, it's in the shop, okay? And um, I just cut out, let me just show you. I just took a small piece because you don't need all the, the folds and stuff on the outside. So I just took a smaller piece. I laid it on here. You see, it, I don't even need all of this, so you don't have to waste that. This was actually a scrap piece that I had. And um, what I did was I just cut it out and I got this. Now you need the bigger piece because you don't want it the exact same size as this. We needed it to be a, just a tad bit bigger. So this one is with the acetate and this one I cut out the oval. All right, just, just so that you know that part of it. All right, so let's put these pieces aside and we have this right here. So the next thing that we need to do is attach this to this. And I'm gonna do that with our super fantastic glue um, found in the shop. Whoops, we wanna do this on the wrong side, all right? And we're just gonna take and make a little ring all the way around. All right, okay, now I'm gonna bring in my workstation here. There we go. I don't want it to be all over. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is to take my sheet and just lay it down there. Okay, making sure that it's closed all the way around because we don't want any of our shaky things on the inside to fall out. So we're just gonna let that dry for just a second. And then while we're doing that, let's pick out our color of prills. So I brought up all of the, not all of, but some of the green ones that we have. And um, I, I think I used the uh, mint to be on the card that I'm using. But I think what I wanna do is I wanna go with some variegated. These are so very pretty. This is one of, you can tell because I've used a lot of them, lettuce. L-E-T-T-U-C-E, let us entertain you. Um, that is one of my most popular ones. Um, I love the Go Green, um, but this is the one I think we'll use today because it's got a bunch of different greens in there. Just to show you the difference when you're putting them in. They're just so, so pretty. So I'll take the rest of those out because we're gonna need those. The next thing that I did was, I'll set that side to dry. I took some of our, um, I took some of our foam tape and I cut it into thirds, all right? We have some great Tim Holtz scissors in the shop that are non-sticky, so when you cut them, it doesn't stick to your scissors. I don't know if you have that whole Goo Gone thing, um, but Goo Gone works, but if you don't wanna deal with that, you can just take and, um, you can just take and uh, um, cut them with those scissors and they work perfect. All right, so I've cut those into three strips, and if I have any left over, I always stick it on the side so I can use it at a later time, okay? So let's just take and start um, putting our strips all the way around. All right, so we've got this. We're going to just, you want to be careful that it doesn't show through, so just take your time. Sometimes it's easier just to take off this, okay? Just be careful because it's going to be very sticky on top now. And go all the way around. Now, you know we're not going to make it all the way around with just one piece. So I want to show you how to butt it up. So when I'm cutting strips for things like this, my rule of thumb is to take my little workstation and I just cut one strip that's the size of this workstation. It works out really good for me. Um, but you can you can use anything that you want. And I like this because it's it's so easy to clean up and it's non-sticky. Now I'm not gonna take the top piece off of this because I'm not gonna use all of it. But what you're gonna see me do is to really push these two pieces together because you don't want any gaps in there. And we're just gonna keep going around just like this. And we're almost to the end. Now I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, then the last piece. And what I mean by that is I'm overlapping it just a tad bit and I am gonna squish this little booger right inside there. Watch this, okay? So I'm gonna take this, let's put this back on there for now. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna crunch it right in there, just like that, okay? Yeah, we can take this off now. All right, so now we're gonna make sure that one's tight 
we're going to make sure that this one's tight so that there is no gaps in between. And if you have to, take your little pick, make it go out a little bit farther, and just squeeze it right in there. All right? There we go. I think we got it. Let's just turn it over, make sure nothing's showing. Perfect, perfect. This is a little bit wide right here, so I'm just going to push this in. And if you do this before you put your card together, you're good to go. Okay, there we go. Now it is perfect. Okay, so remember you've got to know the top to the bottom. Okay, that's going to be my bottom. That's the bigger of the leaves. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to grab one of my clips. And this is just a hair clip. I like to clip it down to make it flat so that the prills don't, don't run. And, oh, you know what we got to do first? We have to stamp our words. So I'm going to bring in my Misty. I already, I already lined up um, the stamp. So let's just make sure that that is centered. Good. All right, so now what we're going to do is move this out of the way for just a second. Bring this in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take and ink this little guy up. And yes, you can actually do that before you attach it to here. But I'm so excited to put it all together that I forgot to do that. But it's okay. When we have our Misty, it's all, it's all good. All right, so I'm going to take and stamp it down. And of course, I need some more. It is much easier be when you do it beforehand, but you know, it's good to see mistakes because then, there we go. Whoop. There, perfect. See, sometimes having mistakes like that um, really help everybody because everybody learns from them. And it's not a mistake, it's just a different way of doing it. All right, so what, now we can take this little guy off of here. And we're ready to put our prills on. So let's bring back our little clippy. Okay, nice and flat. And now what we're going to do is to add our prills. And we're going to bring in our little station here. Okay, just like that. We want it nice and flat. Open up our prills and scoop them up. And we want them to be just right here in the middle. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to put in more, but these spoons are absolutely fantastic. And you guessed it, they are in the shop. I love these colors. These colors are really going good with this paper. So just grab whatever paper um, you have and then match up the prills. I think we have 44 different colors, 42, 44 different colors. They're amazing. Now what I'm doing is getting these into the center so that um, I can make sure they that the, the oval goes around them. All right, so let's take and grab our oval back making sure that all of the sticky is off, making sure that I have the um, frame going in the right direction. And now what we're gonna do is to just take and line this up like this. Really push down on the foam tape. Okay, take this off. There you go, isn't that so cute? And you see, I really like the dark. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> you're not there, you're up there. Okay, I really like the dark, but this is the variegated one. This one is called Spruce Willis, I think. Let's see. Nope, this is Pine by Me. All right, so they have the cutest names. Um, and you can put as many or as little as you want in there, but do you see how they just kind of roll around? Now what we need to do is, let's just clean up my workspace here. And then what I'll do with these is I'll take them and put them back in. I'll just open this up, put it back in. Our little ladybug, all of you have it now. We just, we went through ladybugs like crazy. There's more in the shop. If you haven't gotten yours, you really do need one. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is to put in our little um, tags. 
And I do believe, yes, I did, I did pre-stamp this, but what I'm going to do is to take my white foam squares, take two of those. Remember to go back and watch the entire series because these cards are so pretty. And I have more to come. Um, it's, it's just amazing. All right, so then we're going to add that to the inside right here. And it doesn't matter, upside down, right side up. This, these tags that come with it, remember there are six dies that come with this set. I pre-stamped the blessed and I'll show you what they all come from as soon as I put it together. And you just have to leave me a comment. Which one do you like better? Do you like the, let's, let's clean this up here. Okay, which one do you like better? Do you like the dark one or the light one better? Leave me a comment. I just absolutely, absolutely love these. They're so pretty. And did you see how fast they were? This card is so super fast. So cut out a bunch of these all at once and then stamp them all together, then put them all together and then you have a pile for your stamp box. I hope you enjoyed our post today. I hope you enjoyed this series. I will be doing more and more and more with this, but um, this is, I think, our sixth card in the series. So make sure you get this um, this uh, easel dive. Uh, it, it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Sub hit the subscribe button. Click on the bell to make sure you get our, our post as soon as they come out. Hit the thumbs up button and share this with your friends. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. Have a great day. 